Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. We have super exciting vlog episode for you today. So for today guys, I am happy to share 5 things I wish I knew before I started my luxury bag collection. Hi guys! Ron Ramirez here, Suking Budgetar and Fashionista. I vlog about fashion, shopping, luxury, bags, and accessories, travel, and lifestyle. I'm inviting you guys to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So there's a small icon here. So click on that one so you can easily subscribe and join our growing family. Give me the thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so you will be updated every time I'll be uploading a new video. Also guys, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming for me. Alright, so for in this vlog episode guys, um, if you are just starting or would like to start your very own luxury bag collection, so hopefully this would help you out. And actually I am wishing that before I started my bag collection, maybe 10 to 12 years ago, I wish I knew these things. So I will be giving you 5 tips to help you start your luxury bag collection. Let us begin. Alright, the number 5 tip would be function of the bag. So hopefully you don't mind guys, I have my notes over here so I may be looking this way from time to time. So top 5 tip would be function of the bag. So what do I mean guys? So for example, before buying your luxury purchase, you have to think first whether the bag that you would be purchasing, you would be able to use this as much as you can regardless whether you would be using it from a day bag to an evening bag in whatever season, whether it's fall, winter, or spring, summer. So one good example for this one would be my Givenchy Antigona bag. So this one, I have done a full review and unboxing of this one. If you haven't seen it, I would link it up here and put it in the description box. So this is a good purchase um, when speaking of a function. So the size of this one is a mini size. Although Jiwon, she is saying that this, the size of this one is mini, but don't let the name fool you because definitely um, the, uh, for the functionality, it's a positive for this one because you could put and carry as much of your personal things inside. So like for example, in one of my videos, hopefully it gets published before this, um, the top three card favorite bag. So this one is on my list or on the bag that is currently on my rotation because like for example, I'm going out for work. And when I'm going out for work, so like for example, I would be doing or I would be doing a shopping vlog. So I would be carrying this for a couple of reasons. So the size, this would fit um, my cell phone, then my XC200 um, mirrorless camera, then it would also fit my hygiene kit. Um, it has a two top handles over here as you can see and a shoulder strap so it means i could carry this multiple ways i could carry it as a handbag as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag so that is one example that i would like to share um, when it comes to function so make sure guys the bag that you would be pursing you would be using it to that like you would be using it as much as you can so you would need to think of the color the style the size whether it would you know fit um all of your styles or all of your clothes and another or maybe the no part on the fashion of the bag so one of the thing that i could share or mistakes that i've did in the past is buying micro bag so one of the micro bags that i seldom use so i'm just going to post a photo and video here would be my kenzo belt bag so i purchased the kenzo belt bag um, in taipei and since purchasing it i've honestly with all honesty guys i've used it only once so because this one is a belt bag and it comes with three small micro bags because of the size guys um, I don't use it as much as I wanted to that's why for my top five um, tips that I could share you guys make sure before making that luxury purchase is think of the function of the bag all right number four tip that I would like to share to you guys is buying collector's item or unicorn pieces so what do i mean guys so when we say unicorn pieces so these are the bags that are very difficult to find on luxury boutiques such as chanel louis vuitton or dior and others um 
for our the collector's items, guys, um, these are, again, the collaboration that the houses are doing. So, couple of bags that I wish I purchased and is no longer available would be Louis Vuitton's collaboration with um, Junior Watanabe or Com de Gasson. So, I'm going to put a photo here. So, I have seen this bag. Actually, there are two bags that um, Louis Vuitton did in collaboration with um, Com de Gasson. Um, I've seen these two bags, I think, um, when it launched like a couple of years ago at Louis Vuitton Retail. Then I saw it again during the Louis Vuitton exhibit when we went to Shanghai. And I'm actually, you know, I felt so sorry for me that I didn't get that bag during that time because um, the reason why I wanted to share to you guys that you need to get these collector's items or unicorn pieces because if these are seasonal bags and this would never happen again ever. That's why um, like for example other um, unicorn pieces from Louis Vuitton they have the nano speedy bag so like for example um, this nano speedy bag is no longer available at louisvuitton.com but you could purchase these bags the unicorn piece bag in the collector's item um, bags from resellers but definitely you would be paying premium or you would be paying prices higher than the regular retail price that is why I am highly recommending to you guys um, for example you have already purchased a couple of classic bags and put them under your collection then maybe add maybe one or two um, unicorn pieces and collector's item pieces on your collection because I feel for me this is a good investment and this would be a good addition to your growing luxury bag collection. Alright, tip number three, sale best friend or enemy. So we know guys how um, everyone loves sale, I love sale, we love a good sale, but definitely we have to be very, very careful um, when purchasing luxury bags on sale. So like what I've mentioned, sales can be your friend or it can be your enemy. Friend, so why do I say it can be your friend? So like for example, um, I don't have a bag here that I got on sale, but maybe one good example is if you would be buying from luxury outlet shops um of course most of the bags would be on sale but my recommendation to you guys is think more than twice before purchasing that bag so like what i mentioned from tip number five think of the function functionality of the bag whether you are going to be able to maximize it and use it on all of the most of the occasions whether you can use it number one for um, a day bag or number two an evening bag okay, uh, evening bag um could you use it multiple ways for me it's very important that the bag needs to have a let's say like this petite sack flap um does it have a top handle does it have a shoulder strap um is the style unique so those are some of the tips that i could share or those are the things that you know would be very beneficial for you if you could put a check mark on those and then it's on sale then that's a go then the sale can be your enemy another bad example would be going back to my Kenzo bag because honestly that Kenzo um, belt bag that I purchased is a double whammy so this one it's um, I, like what I mentioned I purchased it well I'm not really 100% satisfied with the bag because it's super small I barely could fit um, things into it and then I got it on a uh, sale that's why actually I, I feel that there is number one reason why I purchased the Kenzo belt bag is because it was such on a huge sale so um, sometimes sale could be very blinding and then when I saw this bag then I think if I'm not mistaken around 30 to 40 percent sale and said yes here's my credit card charge me and then like what I mentioned I only use it once so that is one instance that a sale could be your enemy so guys be very very careful we love good sales but definitely make sure guys before purchasing a luxury bag that you can use it most of the time and it's a classic bag and you can use it from you know day to evening bag so that is my tip number three for you guys tip number two so for tip number two guys don't go into debt so what do i mean about this so i'm sure everyone is familiar with the movie confessions of a shopaholic so uh what it means is it's okay guys to reward ourselves to be collecting 
luxury bags but as we know guys luxury bags are very very expensive so my tip is for example you would be purchasing a luxury bag and you would be using your credit card me what I do is I would pay it immediately so that I would not be charged with interest um, I would not be also purchasing more um, let's say I would be purchasing January then I would be purchasing every month like luxury bags I would be avoiding that and would be putting it on my credit card because I'm pretty sure um, I would be overspending and it's way beyond my budget and I would go into debt and I would not be able to pay my credit card bills so it um, we have to be very very careful in this one um, we could enjoy luxury bags just as long as we are able to settle our bills immediately and not go into debt because it's very very difficult like for example um, you would be charged with so much interest and then you will be paying these debts years and years to come so please avoid that and be very very careful so what I do for me I really save up um, that's why as much as possible I would just be spending you know maybe one to two bags in a year um, and just would just be choosing classic bags that I feel would be good and you know would be a forever bag in my collection so guys again please be very very careful and not going into that and build by building your luxury bag collection Tip number one buy investment pieces so for this one people may agree or disagree but we do have luxury bags out there that really hold their value um, way better than gold I feel so this is Chanel and of course Hermes so for Chanel guys um, the bags that really hold their value is the classic flap bag so I believe it's the double flap that really hold their value and of course for Hermes we have the Hermes Birkin we have um, my favorite um, Hermes Cali and of course the Constance bag so let's talk about um, Chanel first because for me I don't have a Chanel yet on my collection and to be honest right now I would like to start my Chanel collection because upon my reviews um, the reason why I am recommending this is because um, the Chanel flat bags really hold their value even better um, better than gold itself because like for example um, you will be purchasing let's say the classic flat bag today is around seven thousand US dollars at Chanel.com plus tax and um, their prices increase regularly so let's say um, maybe uh, three or five years from now the price I'm just assuming guys don't quote me on this one so the price may be as high as ten thousand US dollar for one classic um, Chanel flap bag so let's say you purchase it today and you would be taking good care of your classic flap and then five years from now you would want to resell it definitely you could sell it either on the same amount you purchase it from or even higher just as long as you really take good care of your bag so currently for me i would like to start my chanel journey so what i am doing because of course seven thousand us dollars is super expensive and i cannot afford it in one sitting so i would be saving it um i would be saving up um, for a good Chanel bag maybe I could also go to the vintage route because with the vintage Chanel pieces of course um, my advice for you guys if you are going to go to the vintage route make sure that the bag that you would be purchasing number one is of course the authenticity of the bag so you have to make sure you would be purchasing from a red, reputable reseller and number two of course the quality of the bag so for me um, I'm looking at other resellers online and I, if I feel that the bag is really worn out, it's a no for me. I would be okay to be spending a lot more for a vintage bag just as long as the quality is still good. You know, if it may not be, you know, good as new, but at least it's really, really good and really well taken care of. And hopefully in the future, if, you know, I would be able to have, you know, good money coming in from the businesses that I have then maybe I could also start my journey my Hermes journey in the future so definitely for Hermes on my wish list I am more of a Kelly person so I would want to purchase a Kelly bag maybe in a size 25 or the smallest um, Kelly 
and I would want it to I'm not really familiar guys with or mess so please forgive me so I would want the bag to be very structured I'm not sure what it's called but definitely I would want it to be in black and I want it to be in yellow gold hardware and I know for a fact that this is very very difficult for you to be um, to come by so if ever given a chance then definitely I would be recommending to you guys Please start your Chanel and Hermes journey as early as possible. But of course, making or you know, minding of course our budget in purchasing these luxury items. But definitely, these are very good purchases because definitely they do hold their value. All right. So how did you like our five tips? Uh, that I've shared to you guys hopefully that's very very helpful honestly guys when I was starting my bag collection I didn't know about these things so hopefully you could get a little bit of pointers before starting your luxury bag collection and I am highly recommending um, that you collect you know pieces that would definitely be a forever bag in your collection all right so before we end our vlog episode let's do comment of the day so I would like to say thank you to Sean Leonard. So Sean Leonard, thank you for saying that I am amazing. Thank you so much, Sean, for watching our vlog episode. I super appreciate it. Thank you again so much and please, please, please do stay safe always. Alright, so again guys, I'm inviting you to join our growing family by hitting that subscribe button. So again, the subscribe button is the small icon here. So click on that one so you can subscribe easily. Um, also hit that notification bell so you would be updated every time I'll be posting new videos. And please do give me the like button or the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also guys, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you could get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright guys, again, super million thank you for staying with me in this vlog episode. I super appreciate it. I will see you on our next episode. Please do stay safe and healthy always. Bye!